Who's secretly watching and listening from work? That's a first time chat from There we go. Are you struggling? I was. I couldn't read it at all. It's just, you know, when, when things aren't separated the way they're supposed to be, <laughs> the letters are all jumbled together, yeah. it's it's hard to decipher them. But thank you for the first time chat. If your coworkers are also watching, I'm sorry, sorry that I just blew up your spot because you clearly said secretly watching and listening. But who knows? Maybe now well, you guys have an even stronger bond, you and your coworkers. Well, I doubt the coworkers are also watching. I guess it wouldn't have to be a secret if they were also watching, yeah, yeah. right? Like they're physically secretly hiding at their desk. Okay. Either way. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with us. There's a lot of stuff we are going to get to today. And there was some drama over the weekend that we were uh, forcibly dragged into for the record. <laughs> we wanted literally no I, part I felt, of anything. I literally felt like, oh, what movie is it? Is it The Conjuring? When the people... Like, you see them getting, like, dragged. They're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, why do you have a sweatshirt on, says Mama Marie. Mom, it is 54 degrees here right now. I said I knew I shouldn't have wore this. People well, we're are also, confused. We're also still inside. Yeah. You're acting like you have to go take a walk during the show. Which you don't. It was but, freezing. I uh, there's a, a couple things we're going to talk about. Obviously, we are, in a couple minutes, going to get to uh, the drama, like I said, that we were forcibly dragged into. And I want everyone to remember... That as we address this, um, we're addressing it, A, to clear up some things for you, mm. B, because people chose to drag us into something, and C, even with both of those things said, we want no part of this. <laughs> like, life is actually pretty incredible. Yeah. And all I wanted to do was enjoy my weekend with my cousin who's visiting. And for the record, I have been. Like, the things yeah, that happened wait. actually didn't ruin no, anything. God. If anything, and we'll get to it, it somehow, Help. in a weird way, made the weekend better. And not for the reason you probably think it yeah. did. Yeah. So we'll get into that. Um, we also, if you were here in the stream with us yesterday when we had our little cooking show with my cousin Michelle who runs Fistful hey, hey, of Cake. Hey, it's a called little cooking show. It was, it was a cooking show. It was It was actually longer than most cooking shows because yeah. it was over an hour. Um if she is still here, she's downstairs sleeping like a normal person. And uh it was a baking show as well. If you actually baked what we were putting together, please let us know how it turned out because we actually had some of it yesterday. There were s'mores Blondies. But like, keep in mind, you and I didn't actually bake ours. Michelle no. did. So ours came out great. I hope everyone else did. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, um, we are going to put the video on YouTube. It was just not going to happen last night. Um, but yeah, that's going to happen today after the show. Today's this show will be on YouTube, as will the whole uh, baking part and all of that will be uploaded. It's all going to be on there. Let's see. Amazing. Such a hit. That's awesome to see. Longer than a cooking show because it was a baking show. Thank you, Tacoma Swifty. Um, and then the other thing that we've got to talk about. And I know I, I said it a little bit last Monday when our friend Raf, um, who used to be on the radio, was with us. Uh, congratulations to him. By the way, he just started back up with the National Guard last week. I wonder how many he left. push-ups he did in his test. A I billion. I to text him. Probably a billion. Um, okay. I'm looking at the thing that I purchased this weekend. So oh, uh, we've been talking about kind of the retro gaming kick that I've been on with – Game Boy games and stuff. And I was able to find on OfferUp a Game Boy Advance SP. And not only that, it's the the edition that has the backlit screen. And this is like a pretty big deal. And I got it for only 100 bucks, which is actually how much it was sold for back when it came out. What? 100 bucks. Yeah, people are selling these for like 200 I'm keeping the cats. Good condition. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that beautiful screen. And I have figured out a way to play. We showed you uh, last Tuesday, I think it was, maybe Thursday. I figured out a way to play Game Boy games on Twitch, and I think that might be my new thing. Like, once a week at night, I'll just pop in an old-school Game Boy game. Maybe I'll let people decide. Can we get two controllers, or no, you can't? With Game Boy, no, but I can get the – there's a Super Nintendo You went to Pink version. Gorilla, right? I've been there, yeah. Where'd you get that? Off uh, this was Offer Up, oh. yeah. Um, it is not, well, I guess it would be a business expense. Lenny said it could be, yeah, I could do Tetris, but like you were playing some wave runner game and I was like, I'm going to vomit everywhere. I got to get out of here. So wave runner. Yeah. It's, there's a lot going on on the screen, but I can get the, actually I have it right here. So this is called the retron cube. Oh my God. 
or retro, retro on square. And you can plug this into a TV or a computer. Hold on, let me explain. And actually play your Game Boy games on a TV or a computer screen. So I can get the same thing for Super Nintendo and then regular I'm, Nintendo. I told you I'm in if it's Super Nintendo. It would put, I think, Super Nintendo and regular Nintendo, Nintendo cartridges both go into the same oh, console, my and mom, we can play. Mom, you're watching. Are, do we still have Super Nintendo, and are the games still in the uh, like the crawling closet? I'm going to find out next week. Faze, talk to me, and I'll uh, figure out how to get you one. My mom said men never grow up. That's fine. I know, but... But, is it, but okay, okay, is growing up even fun? No, and exactly. this is what I talked about on my podcast. My, my, my podcast. When I did My Day Friday with... John from Almost On Air, I told him how the Peter Pan complex is a good thing as long as you're not immature. Mm -hmm. Being immature, being irresponsible, ain't cute. But if you still love childish things, like my mom is obsessed with like glitter and bling. Like that's childish if you want it to be. Mm -hmm. So still holding on to that like little spark of childhood. Like I went to Disney with my nieces and yeah, there was a baby with us, but we would have gone probably without him. So Holding on to part of your childhood, as long as it doesn't truly interfere with your life and your adult responsibilities, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And I used to say this to a lot of the uh, the people that would intern for Elvis Duran in the morning show, because a lot of them were in their senior year, getting ready to get into like the real world. And what, what even is that? I would always say, guys, the biggest lie in the world is that you actually have to grow up. Mm-hmm. Being an adult doesn't actually exist. Yeah, there are there are adult responsibilities you may get that you would never have as a child. Right. But you don't have to actually change. You can still no. go. You know what I want to do one day? I want to play tag. Oh. I want to have like. Hold on. Get like a dozen people, an open field, and play some tag. I learned this from the Almost On Air podcast that there's a movie. I think it's called Tag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. About, it's a true story about adult men who have played tag every year. But it's like a full-blown, intense game of tag, and you play it for a whole month, yeah. and you don't know who is it. And I'm like, we need that. Because... And they can show up whenever. But there was also like a Nerf gun in the park day somewhere in California where you just showed up with your Nerf gun and you played games. Can I bring goggles to protect my eyes? Yeah. Uh, thank you to, let's see real quick, I want to shout out uh, Renee and Alicia, Alicia from the 215, and Renee for subscribing with Prime. Appreciate you very, very, very much. And uh, Tacoma Swift, he said, aren't those men in the movie from Oregon? I never saw it. Never saw the movie, but I'm going to take your word for it. Let's see. Make sure that we are good to go. And remember, if we do get a hype train, and I know we got one yesterday and a lot of people subscribed and, and gifted bits yesterday, so I'm not going to be upset if we don't get one today. But if we do, we still have our daiquiri timeout. Did we check if this is still good? No. Seattle Cocktail Club, if you're in here, tell us if it's bad. If it's not, we're going for it. There's a world tag championship. Growing old is mandatory. Growing up is optional, said the lawyer. That's a that's a smart man in the chat right there. <laughs> um, arguably the smartest of the brothers that my parents gave birth to. Would you agree? Like for real? That he's, that he's the than? smartest? He retains the most knowledge. Okay. I think all of us are uniquely... Um, how do I say this? All of us. So there's three brothers in my family. I don't think any of us are necessarily dumb by any means. <laughs> but I think we all have our unique things that make us smart in a specific space. That's fair. And that, I'm not, I'm not saying that great. to defend anyone either. Like, no, I'm not trying to be like, oh, I got the dumb brother, but I got to make him no, feel you good. Guys, I think you guys would make a great debate team. Like, if you didn't have to debate each other. Like you were debating someone else, the three of you together. Oh, we would we would absolutely murder them verbally. I think so. Yeah, that would be bad. Um, th so Jolly Russian Buddhist is my brother Justin. He said to quote my other brother Michael, "I'm either the dumbest smart person or the smartest dumb person." That's him, <laughs> Justin. Yeah. So he, Justin, fair. he what what is really impressive about Justin is his ability to retain knowledge and his ability to lock himself in a room and read things for like hours and hours and hours. You do that. No, I usually I read and I fall asleep. That's true. He's uh his quest for knowledge is pretty admirable. I'll give him that much. Don't let me compare my siblings. I'm the smartest. Are you? If you had to rank, you've got I would four siblings. If we did an IQ test, without a doubt, without a doubt in my mind, I would wager my house on it. <laughs> what if there is there a topic that you would lose at? Like if this was Jeopardy, right? Mm -hmm. And you've got all the the things on the screen. Mm -hmm. 
there's one category one of your siblings would smoke you at. Uh, cosmetology. And who, which one would win that? Tina Marie. Okay. And then Ashley would probably win at like understanding like PR marketing because that's what she went to school for. My brother would just probably ace us all in like business and stocks and stuff like that because he's been doing stock market stuff since he was like 20. Okay, but if it was general trivia, like the things that we have on Big our end. screen I before. I would kill him. Really? Interesting. Uh, what else do we have here in the chat? I like Lenny from Queens. I'm number two out of four <laughs> in my family. My sister is a genius. Ain't a bad spot. Does everyone do that, though? Does everyone be like, oh, I can, I can win this argument as long as I don't have this person from my family in it? <laughs> yeah. Like, there's that one person that I can't, I can't win this argument against. Um, and I know that I'm saying – I've said a couple times we're going to get to the drama from this weekend. The reason we didn't want to open with it um, – and we're still going to give it a couple minutes. There's a couple. One, we wanted to make sure people were here if they were interested in getting the, the, the story from our side of it. Two, the people who said what they said and did what they did didn't deserve to the be mentioned right out of the gate. No. Um, and it's also important to realize even when you're dealing with drama in your life, um, even when people are trying to drag you down. Everything else matters more. Everything else matters more. And you can still enjoy the rest of every moment mm -hmm. that you're dealing with. You don't have to let that take over everything. And I love that the Kimmy Cam has no clue what the drama is <laughs> because this is one of my favorite parts. And you know what? Let's screw it. We can, we can open it up and start talking about it. Oh, I'm not, I wasn't ready. Did you have anything else you want to talk about first? No, I was just going to talk about being the smartest sibling. Okay, well, we, we got over that part. Um, the best thing that happened... Out of, the second best thing that happened from the drama this weekend was the way that the show that tried to drag us into the drama presented their content, no one actually heard. <laughs> More people heard it from an account that was making fun of them than actually heard or it. Or calling them out. Or calling them out. Yeah. Than actually heard it the way they wanted it to be heard to get credit, mm -hmm. which in, it, in and of itself is fantastic. Yeah, so... A show decided to do a fake prank bit mimicking the two of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I haven't listened to it. I've only heard from friends. I've yeah. heard a mix of, you can listen to it. You're just going to be mad. It's not good radio. And others say, just don't listen to it. Um, but like, whatever. Thank you for the free PR yeah. that we got this weekend. And apparently all I care about are my Instagram followers. And I will tell you that we went up in Instagram followers. Oh, we did? So thank you. That's fun. So... <laughs> The thing that I heard um, was, I guess they said that I do steroids. Oh, yeah. Possibly the nicest thing anyone's ever said about me. <laughs> uh, so thank you for that. I have, but here, and here's the thing. No, I don't do steroids. Um, but Sardines, when you're, when you you're unemployed, you get to actually pay attention to like your health mm. and eat properly and yep. sleep properly and go to the gym. It's nice. And like Fergie, I've been up in the gym working on my fitness. <laughs> so thank you for noticing. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. do one of these. Just roll these up a little. Just hold on. There we go. There, just a little bit. If I was on steroids, I'd be way bigger, by the this way. This is true. Like the amount of time that I put into the gym, if I was on steroids too, I'd look like Arnold. I wouldn't be able to fit in this chair. It's fair. I'd have to have two mics. I don't it know why. A, it's a very nice compliment. Compliment. Um, but the the words, I, but the part that people have told me was the the most disgusting mm -hmm. was I guess in their little bit where they were role playing to be us, which is also a compliment because they just wanted to be us for a day. Um, the thing that if I listen will probably upset me mm. is I guess they have a segment where I like. My character, or the, the person who's playing me, screams at your character. And I cry. In like Roy Because I always cry. <laughs> and, the, no, and, and the crying thing actually does work a little bit. <laughs> yeah. um, but the reason I that one bothers me is domestic violence and verbal abuse yeah. in those settings not is fun. not a joke. No. And for a show or a station who is supposed to be geared towards women mm – -hmm. I can't imagine how many women that probably triggered who had well, been in bad relationships. And as someone who has an aunt, had an aunt, mm -hmm. who dealt with a lot of emotional and physical abuse, like that is yeah. something that is just disgusting. Yeah. My mom, not with my dad, mm -hmm. but my mom in a previous relationship. Yeah. So, yeah. So, shame, so if that is true, and again, I haven't listened 
So I'm just hearing um, secondhand accounts of people who did listen. If that is true, and it seems like it is from the chat, shame on them for making mm-hmm. domestic violence and domestic disputes a joke. That is that is never a joke. You can yeah. make fun of me doing steroids. It's stupid. You can make fun of Carla Marie crying on the radio because, for the record, both of us have cried on the radio. <laughs> and here. And here. Have I cried on the – I don't think I've cried on the stream. You've gotten choked up for Maybe. sure. Um, oh. So DJ there's all of that. And <laughs> what – from radio people who I think are the, the core group of people who actually listened to the segment on the shitty radio PD – no, shitty radio jock account. Yeah. Um, which, like I said, had 25,000 listens or something, which is way more than the show actually probably I got. I think that they think we run that account. That's why this was done. If Thank I you. was If I was going to take a shot at a show, I'm selfish enough to want you to know my ego is big enough where you're going to know it's me. Yeah. Also, I barely post on my own Instagram. I think, like, steal our bits, <laughs> our coworkers. Done. And now you just, okay. But. <laughs> okay. And we'll get into the coworkers part of it, too. But. From all of the radio people that had messaged me, and this is where I go to like the silver lining. There were so many people who, even though we didn't even hear it, came to our defense oh my God, yeah. and stood up for us. Some even within the company that stood up for us against their, I guess, forced coworkers now. Um, the words that I got back, if I tabulated all of them, which I often do, um, trash, garbage, rude, Disgusting. Gross, disgusting sure, is yeah. across the board. Not, and I guess the bit was supposed to be comedy and supposed to be funny. I guess that's how they're masking their, their rudeness. Mm-hmm. Um, that didn't happen. It just wasn't from what I heard. Right. So again, not our opinion. Cause and I don't know listen. the two people who are in charge of that show. I don't know personally, oh. so I can't talk about their character. I can talk about their content. Um, so with those words that were, given to me trash garbage uh low hanging fruit mm. unfunny that's par for the course i get it and that's what they do that's what they've made their money on mm-hmm. um some people work in waste management that's what they do they work in garbage the other thing that people were really upset about was that our old coworker was also part of it he he has remained on the show um, I have no ill will towards him remaining on the show. No. Going, being unemployed and having your whole right. future thrown into a blender of uncertainty sucks. Yeah. I wouldn't have wished that upon Alabama when she was still no. at the radio station. I don't wish that upon Evan. And I didn't wish it upon him when we got let go. No. Um, and both publicly and privately, I have said the same thing about that coworker. I have said, I hope he's being taken care of better financially than he was. I hope that they are treating him like a human being. And I hope that he is happy outside of work because that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Those are the three things that I have said across the board from the day we got let go up until today. I still believe those three things. And I will say that it's tough when you're in a situation. I I don't know what the work environment is like. Um, Yeah. You could say no to being a part of things, but that may it may not be that kind of environment where yeah. that's it could be an environment where like that's not allowed and I don't know that and I've heard a lot of people who have left left or no work with them now have worked with them in the past that basically if you are not one hundred percent on board and a fan of what they do if they doubt anything mm-hmm. you're either getting screamed at or thrown out of the room or thrown out of the out of your job right so um so then we also heard that. Evan regretted being a part of it. So then other stuff came out that made us very confused by him saying that. So it's we, hard. We've already spent five minutes too long talking about this. Honestly. Um, again, all I will say is thank you for the free PR. Yeah. Sucks that it happened. Was disappointed in a former coworker. Sad that this is what it's come to 14 months later, picking on unemployed employees. Although we do have our own company and we're doing just fine. Thank you. Um, more disappointed in the management at that yeah, place. Yeah, and this is a, a question that but. just came in from uh, Nick NYC seven one eight. Real question: How iHeartRadio uh, iHeartRadio Media has allowed this? Like how have, have they, how they allowed this? And the answer is easy. Mm-hmm. The answer is super easy. Um, the management team there is subpar to say the least, and 
as long as a couple extra dollars are coming in, they, they will sell their souls for some dollars. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the reality of the situation. And yeah. I get it is a business. I get they're supposed to make money. Um, but at some point in time, especially when a lot of those same managers used to make fun of that show behind the scenes mm -hmm. and talk down on that host and his wife all the time. The second they got a chance to bring him in and make some extra money, they did it. Yep. And that's on them. That is not on me. I don't have to live with that. I don't really care what happens there. And a lot of people have asked what they can do to make sure that that content doesn't get um, more attention than it needs. And here's the simple answer. Here's the simplest solution, the simplest thing you can do. Nothing. Yep. You don't need to reach out to anybody. You can simply hit the unfollow button. You don't need to listen in and call in. You can simply remove that radio station from your app or your car radio. Yeah, because listen, because so many times if we did something on the air, people would be like, call in or like complain, and be like I'm not listening. But like then they would listen yeah. again, the, and we would know that they were listening. So just don't listen, don't be a part of it. If and this is for any show, if you are ever trying to bring down a radio show. Just leave it alone. <laughs> Silence is the thing that will drive them nuts. Mm -hmm. We had a manager um, who his whole being was see how many people you can upset because if they're upset, they're going to remember you. See how many people you can trigger because if they're triggered, yeah, they'll they say will they remember triggered you. us, but just leave them alone. My weekend was fine. It was amazing seeing how much support came through. Talked to a lot of people through. we haven't talked to in a while. Oh, yeah. my God. It was seeing the support and seeing how many people on the – and you could go to the account. It's called uh, shitty, shitty Radio Jock, Jock, which is surprising that you're allowed to put shitty in the, I can't believe in the it. title. But Shitty Radio Jock, um, you can go through and there's almost 200 messages of people either saying how disgusting yeah. that bit was, but mostly – Compl people that we've never even met mm -hmm. met complimenting us, mm -hmm. which I was floored. Yeah, it was it was really cool. Yeah, um, Lauren just said, "What I love about you guys is you always take the high road." Not I always. Know. I mean, I feel like <laughs> I feel like we could have taken a higher road and not mentioned yes. it at all, which is something we talked about. But. And I guess the one thing we've heard from some people who are are still connected to that thing is um, they claimed that I guess it was retaliation, so they they admitted that it was. Because of stuff we've did. But Done. retaliation for an Instagram story that I posted. Uh, talking about radio in general. And yeah, yeah. We, we talk about radio often on this show. Mm -hmm. Because that was the industry we were in for 10 to 14 years. That's all we know. And we talk about the downfall of radio. And yeah, we have mentioned the show that replaced us in the past. But like, we talk about radio in general. Mm -hmm. And we shit on the fact that it has fake callers and fake whatever and if you take offense to that then you're doing that and yeah. i don't know what to tell you about that i i'm sorry if that's the case um so continue to make fun of us continue yeah. to use your platform um to send people to our instagram because yes followers are the most important thing in my life <laughs> <laughs> um and again i posted it was last week i posted responses because the question i had because we are oh. doing research for the future for a project we have coming up is what complaints do yeah. you have about traditional <laughs> radio part. or morning shows? The best part is it was for a legit project and Anthony took all of the answers and turned them into charts. Oh, I have the chart. Should uh, I put the chart up? No, no, no. So what I did, <laughs> and I even said afterwards, I was not specifically talking about that old station. Yeah. But a lot of the responses, and I had, I think, 200 <laughs> people respond. Commercials was number one. And then... Fake recall, uh, fake pre-recorded and recycled content or material mm -hmm. basically kind of fell into the same bucket. And that was number two. Now, if you saw that post, took offense to it and decided to retaliate, congratulations, you played yourself <laughs> and you admitted that you have a lot of commercials. Yep. You have fake bits. You have recycled content and unoriginal ideas. Yeah. That's not my fault. That's your fault. So here we are. Yeah. Oh, there was a great comment that I lost. Oh, Kyle King show. Haters. Having haters is really fun. It is. It's, you know what? I feel like we were, we were maybe hitting a plateau 
And now I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm energized again. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. thank you. Listen, if you're going to play yourself, you're going to play yourself. If you're going to admit to the things that you do, you're going to admit to the things you do. Because if you liked the content that you were creating, you'd have no problem with what we said. Yeah. That's, that's it's the real, bizarre. that's the real situation. Your insecurities are showing when you do things like that. So good luck. I think it's time for a shot. <laughs> um, and, and I will go back. We could take a shot. Screw it. And I want to go back and say, if you are part of what we do here and you've enjoyed what we've done, don't waste your time sending anyone negative messages. Yes. I, and do not. We, we appreciate all the support. I'm not trying to say anything bad about anyone who did, but, but we don't like, you can't retaliating that way doesn't help anything, right? Like we didn't sit here and like make fun of them and their character. We're mm -hmm. not like, no. we're not asking you to go do that. We're not asking you, um, especially Evan, like do not at all do that. Yeah. We don't know the situation that he is in working there. Um, we truly do not because like I said, <laughs> last time we had a normal conversation with him was over a year ago. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what that, uh, situation is like working there so yeah. it's just not necessary and evan's a good kid he's got a good family and yeah. i he might just be in a really bad situation with really bad management around him that doesn't help oh well, we know so, that's true we were in that same situation for a long time now we're gonna take a shot shots yeah you're gonna pull up the screenshot that i sent you oh shit okay. i sent you a screenshot and a photo okay okay and i'm so excited about it <laughs> Are you going to pour the shots? Yes. Okay. But I just need to. And yes, it ironically has to do with my Instagram. It does have to do with your Instagram. Uh, what a time. What a time. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, apparently they made fun of us that we're not actually dating. and We're just doing it for the show. Sometimes I wish that was true. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wonder though, because I've talked about how like I'm not the most outwardly affectionate person. Well, guys, I wonder how many people. What? Josh from Indy and BFC Pika. Oh, I think they're trying to get. Are you guys? Everyone's trying Janice. to get a uh, hype train going now. Oh, thank you guys. I think we'll probably be in like hype train level three by the time this actually starts. Thank you very, very much. Woo! That's cold. And this is not orange juice, <laughs> even though it does look like orange juice and it could it's be a, a, a daiquiri mimosa. timeout shooter. It's cold enough. It's a daiquiri timeout. Um, our friends at Seattle Cocktail Club made it for us. It's also called a bartender's handshake. Apparently, it's what bartenders serve other bartenders. Why don't you give me this whole damn thing? You couldn't clip it? <laughs> okay, so we want that part up there, mm -hmm. right? Shot first, part. then we'll show what up. And I sent you a photo just I got in it. case. Yeah, yeah. Um, I should have been more prepared. I apologize. If only our show was done days in advance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me move this over. Level five already. Sweet. Well, thank you. That means we can definitely take this shot. Yes, I'm nuts. How's that, Carla Marie? It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. So we'll take this shot. Wow, thank you very much. Level five in like 15 seconds. Appreciate you very, very much. Everyone who subscribed, everyone who gifted bits, uh, cheered, all of that stuff, or gifted subscriptions and cheered with bits. I always mess those up. What did your mom say that she doesn't know uh, what to do? She doesn't know how to ride the train. Is that what she said yesterday? <laughs> yeah, when she texted me, I haven't figured out the train thing yet. I said, I'll show you when I'm home. And she said, you always say that. Um, for the mailman, welcome. My mom and I are going to go on Twitch when I'm home. We're going to go through all my old toys. What are you? Are you? This is a big ass shot you're, you're uh, pouring out here. Necessary. Um, and don't worry. I also have my protein Get shake here. here. I've got to like, I'm going to like really lean into this. This whole uh, new character they've given me. Ready, Carla Marie? Cheers. Cheers, fam. No. Yeah. Okay. 
Are we good? I think it's time to move on to a new thing. Did we find out from Sal Cocktail Club if it's good or not? Because this was made like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So it's probably not good anymore. I mean, there's no Although like it eggs tasted, or milk. It tasted fine. Yeah. But I, I'm like, I feel like we weren't supposed to drink it. <laughs> eh, whatever. Okay. Is that oh, the this chip? is <laughs> this is the Chips Ahoy flavored protein shake. It's by uh, Ghost. No, they're not paying me. Um, but I posted about this because it was a cool flavor. I've always loved Chips Ahoy. No. Who didn't? And they came out with a, a co-branded flavor. And a lot of people, and I'm going to do an Instagram video about this because a lot of people actually did ask about my protein. Yeah, you should. And I want to be like, a whole, do a whole influencer thing. Like, I know a lot of people ask influencer about my- Influencer Anthony needs to talk about <laughs> my, my protein routine. I know. Here, and here's when we get mad. We, me. Because you always say you're going to do that. I'm like, yeah, Anthony, yeah. that's a hilarious. It's great content. And then he doesn't ever do it. And I'm like, don't talk to me about things you're going to do if you're not going to do if it. If I don't do it by Thursday, I will buy you lunch. How about that? You can call me out Thursday morning on this show. If I have not done it, I will buy you lunch that day. Okay. And I won't even, it won't be like I'm buying us lunch. I will just buy you lunch. <laughs> I will not even get myself food. You're going to starve. Okay. Eat your protein shake. Um, but it is. It's pretty good. I will, I will say that the flavor itself is good. They do have little like chocolate chip type things in there. I don't know if it's like clumps of protein or chocolate chips. Mm. Um, they're not bad. It's just weird to have kind of in the cup at the end. That is my only complaint. But the flavor itself actually does taste so like, it's like cookies. If you were having milk and cookies, what's left over at the end? Yeah. I feel like I like that. And part. then you, you put some crumbs, some crumbs of cookies in there. That's the only thing that I don't like is like there's like. But that's what I'm saying. You like that part? When you are dipping your cookies in milk, which I haven't done in about 29 years. Mm -hmm. At the end, if you drink your milk, there's cookie crumbs on the bottom. Uh, this is a debate from Jolly Russian Buddhist, who not only is a smart lawyer, but loves philosophy and philosophical questions. Debate, do you eat or drink shakes? If someone ever told me they were going to eat a shake, <laughs> I would tell them. To, okay. I don't know what. And I understand. <laughs> saying that is weird. Oh, but yeah. Sponsored by T-Mobile. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I was. Hey, if T-Mobile ever wants to sponsor us, we're here for you. Yeah. Um. It depends on the shake. Like this protein shake, I would say I you drink it, right? There's no chewing involved, even though there are well, clumps in here, but you just swallow them. Um, if there's a straw, like I drink what my if, shake with the straw. I'm not eating it. Okay. Would you ever say you drink a banana? If it's in a shake. No, no. Answer the question. Would you ever say, oh, I drank that banana? I drank a liquid banana. <laughs> Stop it. I'm not having this conversation. I'm telling you right now. The two of you. I'm just saying there's an argument to be made. If you put all the ingredients for a salad in a blender and make it really smooth and fine. I'm sorry, what? What card? There's a milk bar chocolate cake shake at Shake Shack. That sounds good. Want to go That's to Shake Shack today? That's worth myself over. Are we going to go to Shake Shack today? <sighs> we might. I've actually been having, also not sponsoring this, although they do sponsor podcasts, uh, Ritual Shakes. Ritual? Yeah. If you go to Barry's Boot Camp, that's the shake powder that they make in their shakes. Um. <laughs> look at the screen. No, look at my... No. Shake weight? <laughs> Basically. Um, yeah, and they're really good. So, that's a green smoothie? What's a green smoothie? The Ritual. Is Ritual a it's green smoothie? It's vanilla. But you can make it a green smoothie. They're so, so good. Um, but now, I know Christy is cool.com and I have... Uh, recently been talking about Milk Bar, and I had no idea that there was a Milk Bar shake at Shake Shack. That does sound pretty good. You know what? I'm going to leave the – just for one show, I'm going to leave the T-Mobile logo out here and pretend like T-Mobile cares enough about our little show here. I want my parents to switch to T-Mobile because they have the old people plan mm -hmm. or the empty nester plan, as I call it. But it's like the – my kids grew up and got their own plan. Now what do I do? And it's like 60 bucks for two people. And I'm That's like – Because I'm still on a plan with them. But Anthony won't join a plan with me. I keep, no. going, I keep asking him. No, I'm not doing that. I don't, that, play, I don't is, play house. Is that like... <laughs> I don't play house. You literally... Are I know I'm living in here. I'm your roommate. This is your home. I don't play house. <laughs> um, <sighs> let's see. Just started for this month. Is that about... I don't know what's Is happening. that about Shake Shack or T-Mobile, Lisa? <laughs> or is it about a shake? I have no idea. Court, I feel like you would save money if your husband added you to his parents' plan. Uh, let's I'm see using these dumb headphones today because one of the cats ate my other headphones. Those, you know, why do you not like those They're headphones? They're too heavy. They fall out of my ears. Why don't you take the thing off of them? I mean, when was that going to happen? Here, come here. 
So these are Vmoto headphones, which are actually the same company yeah. that we're doing Sound. a lot of like weird sponsor <laughs> things that no one's actually paying us for. Um, they're really cool headphones. You can customize them with little like caps that you put on the earphones. Oh. I think they sound great. And when you take them off. Oh, or, so much better. But they're kind of heavy. My ears are, my ear holes are too tiny. And back when we had radio jobs, we were like, oh, let's get the microphone what? ones. Alina said, Aline said, they're laughing too hard, so hard their cheeks hurt. At what part? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Uh, let's see. I added my father and brother-in-law to my plan and we all saved money in the end. That's a good idea. And <laughs> I was going to say something about T-Mobile. Oh. So we're going to Spain, hopefully. If Wait, the country we haven't stays talked open. about this. We haven't? No. Oh, well, well, we'll talk about it in a second. And uh, apparently, if you have T-Mobile, you can still use like a decent amount of service in Spain. I'm sure at any plan can. I've got to figure that out. Ooh, Seattle Cocktail Club said, after you go to Shake Shack, come by and we'll give you new shooters to drink this week. Can it oh. be like um, shake or cookie flavored? Now that Seattle Cocktail Club is in here, can you tell us if we had waited too long and we should not have been drinking the daiquiri timeout, the DTO, this morning. Like, we're not going to die, are we? Because um, I had meat that was questionable last week. And did. I've been, like, really they pushing. They said we 100% should not have drinking that. Okay. Well, we're going to die. It's fine. I've been, like, really pushing the envelope on some of the things that I've eaten recently because I don't want to throw things out. And I'm like, I mean, it doesn't smell terrible. I don't play that game. I'll try it out. I normally don't, but I just, I, I feel like I have, um... Really wanted to reduce the amount of things I throw out from the fridge. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm pretty sure there's moldy bread in the cabinet right now. I've got to look into that. Damn, this group chat. Group chat. <laughs> this group. What, what is, is this? A group, a group chat. Obsessed with T-Mobes, and I love it. Oh, I do, I do love that. Tacoma Swifty brought up the fact that T-Mobile lets you have free Wi-Fi on Alaska Airlines. It is legit. And on Delta. It is legit. It is sweet. And it's like, not just messaging. It's All full it. on. All you got to do is, I think, put your phone number in, mm -hmm. and it gives you free Wi-Fi, which is really good when you're traveling to and from uh, between Seattle and New Jersey. Yeah. Naara said, T-Mobile has an excellent international options. I've used my phone in Singapore, Philippines, Greece, and Australia. Can someone send this to T- Does anyone here work at T-Mobile? Someone's got it. They like, are based here. Um, we'll just do this show forever from the T-Mobile arena. We'll move to Vegas. We'll set up our little microphones in their hallway somewhere. We should go this weekend. Oh, this week? No, this weekend. I'm... I'm <laughs> I say this all the time. I'm busy. <laughs> I got so much to do this weekend. Uh, this weekend, I am going down to Austin for a bachelor party, which we'll talk about later in the week. Aline said, I'm laughing at all the different directions you're going in one minute, and I'm here for it. I love the clothes and candles, but what I'd really like is CMNA ritualistic things. Can you all make vitamins? No. <laughs> I don't know if I trust myself. I mean, I'm sure we could. Here's the thing. We, we could do slap work... a label on anything. Yeah. We do work with Seattle Gummy Company. Who does it? But like they have their immunity gummies, their uh, their mocha, mocha shots, shots, things like that. So technically, yeah, I guess we could figure out something with them and maybe like co-brand it, where mm. it's like the Carla Marie and Anthony or the You Look Great pack. Uh, marijuana. Thank you very much for the gifted tier one subs. I will see you tomorrow. Got my haircut tomorrow. That's I'm cute. very excited for a haircut because when you're Arab, like your neck gets I know. real hairy real fast. I have to clean fast. it up for Anthony sometimes. And last week I had to cancel my haircut for a work thing that I was doing. So. Was I a part of it? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was me and my bestie, Steve Aoki. That's all I can say. Mm. Okay, so. Big things in the in Hold the on. There were a lot of things I need to talk about. Kyle King, appreciate that message. Everyone else can read it. We don't need to read it right now, but I love it. Uh, there was something about T-Mobile, I thought. I mean, I feel like we could, we used to do T-Mobile commercials all the time on the air. This is way better than any T-Mobile commercial we've done. I know. And part of that is because, and I, defending T-Mobile and the the infrastructure that mm -hmm. it has to go through to get There's on the radio legal things you have to say yeah because we're not actually representing t-mobile we can say whatever we want right now yeah uh fred the mailman said you're a harab yeah absolutely mm, that's funny okay so let's pl show my screenshot and then i guess we can talk about our trip or do we want to wait till tomorrow to we'll talk do, about we'll the talk trip? about the spain trip tomorrow okay uh here we go no go back why i wasn't ready for everyone to see it well it's too late it's on the screen Carl anthony Murray. it's on the screen Guys, <laughs> Devin Sawa commented on my Instagram post yesterday, and I was running around the house screaming, screaming. For those who have no idea, like I didn't last night, who Devin Sawa is. It's on the screen, Casper. it's D. Sawa. That's his picture from when he, probably 1994. It's from when he was in Little Giants. He played Junior. Okay, so that was uh, maybe 98. When did the Little Giants come out? 
Who knows? So I follow him on Instagram because he's freaking hilarious. And I think I commented on something he posted. So he must have been like, who's this girl with the blue jacket has so many Instagram. <laughs> JK, JK, LOL, inside joke. And um, he probably went to my page. and I don't know if he follows me. I actually haven't even looked. And he commented on the it, here's the best part. He commented on a picture of me holding a vibrator. And he said, oh, my God, I thought that was for your face. I apologize. He may have commented something else. Oh, he else. thought like the, the vibrator yeah. that you were holding was like a facial massager? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it could be. I don't know if he commented something else and deleted it. The radio fam said he does. I wonder if that means he does follow oh, you. Oh, you looked? I love you, Marie. People um, need to <laughs> – this is for the future. Uh, please, what do they make you do in, in elementary school? Rephrase your uh, – no. Answer in full – Answer in a full sentence. sentence. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Please answer in full sentences. So I'm running around screaming. I literally came screaming into this room. Anthony was prepping for the show today. And I was like, Anthony, Devin saw what comments on my Instagram post. And he was like, who? I go, Casper? I'm like, don't you know? Can I keep you? And he's like, what the fuck? Oh, the radio fam said, I checked if he follows you because I was like, does she know him? And apparently he does follow you, Carla Marie. Congratulations. So here's here's what gets better. I comment and I say, no apologies necessary, LOL, or whatever. So I screenshot and send it to my little sister because I know she's going to lose her mind. And she goes, you're lucky this is something cool that actually woke woke me up because it was late for East oh, Coast. Yeah, yeah. And she also said, were you responding to a business email? Why did you say, like, no apologies necessary, whatever? <laughs> I go, I'm deleting it. I go, what do I say back? So then I text Gandhi because I know Gandhi's a huge fan. And I text Sam because Sam's a huge fan. Did you respond back? I deleted it. <laughs> Loser. And Gandhi told me just to like it and move on. My sister said yeah, to like say. Yeah, you got to act like you've been there before. My sister said to say my 1995-year-old self is freaking out that that Casper commented on a picture of my vibrator. And I was like, I can't. It's too much. Not there yet. Is he someone. Cause does, does he have like a, a role right now in something that we'd know? Well, he was in Final Destination. So okay. No. He's but, very like political on social media or very like, I don't give a shit. I'm going to call everybody out, which I love. Um, but he doesn't look like that anymore. He's still hot. So let me ask you this question. Is he someone who leans into the nostalgia of his characters? Or yes. is he a guy who's like, oh, I don't want to talk about no, that. No, that no, was- no. Okay. I-, I haven't seen a post about Casper. Um, what about Little Giants? Because that's a phenomenal movie. He talks a lot about Final, Def- De- Final Destination. Um, he, but he did post the other day, fuck around and find out, which is one of your favorite things. Maybe he's been, I mean, I didn't make fuck around. Find I know. Out. Okay. <laughs> um, but like, he's been posting a lot about the Chucky movie. I think he's in it. Oh, that's cool. And I'm not a fan of Chucky. So that's going to be a problem. Ooh, but what do you do if, when your best friend is in a movie? You're not going to see it. Mm-mm. What if he messages you directly and is like, Carla Marie, I reserved two tickets for you. Uh, you're going to go to the, the Regal cinema in Northgate. Like that's him in final destination. Okay. That doesn't help anyone else. You should probably. Oh, I was just trying to show you. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'd probably go see it, but I won't speak. Oh, so. Carrie also said he totally follows you, Carla Marie. Guys. What if we, can you direct message him and say we, we want to have you. We can get him a Roosevelt you, shirt. Can you direct message him and say we want to get you on the show this week? No, I can't. I can't. Give nope. me your phone. I'll no, do no, it right no. now. Here's, here's why I phone. can't do that. Because I will be sweating. Give me your phone. Casper. What do we have to do to get you to message him? You know what's so weird? I almost tweeted about the movie Casper the other day, and I think it's because I saw him, and I was going to tweet something like, the movie Casper literally made me feel like I couldn't go sledding because I was going to die of hypothermia. Is that how he dies? Is that how Casper dies? He gets hypothermia and dies. even Because his dad tells tells him, Casper, don't go outside. You're going to get too cold. And he always tells him that, and he's like, I should have listened to my dad. And, And he was looking for me, and my dad was so sad, and he spent his whole life looking for me, and then he built this machine to try to come find me, and it eventually killed him. So Casper stays in the house to make sure no one else can use the machine. Okay, but how did he go from sledding? I know that it's not a, a hard uh, story to follow. How did he go from going out to sled to hypothermia? Did he get lost? Yeah, I think he like got lost. Like his sled went too far? I don't know. <laughs> Just kept going? I don't know. Huh. Um, I have to go get something real quick. Is he here? I have a surprise. What? Oh! <laughs> I got it. Court, why is this tragic? Oh, how he died? I'll do it. I will do it. I promise. I don't want you to use words that aren't mine. I swear to God, I will do it. In Anthony, front of everyone, promise. right now. Oh, you dick. 
I hope everyone appreciated my diet. <laughs> Those steroids, <laughs> man, it made you so strong. Whew. That was a lot of energy to expend for Should a Should I DM or do it in the comment for the public space? So everyone could go comment on it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We're going to do that. We're going to get that post to boost. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I guess if everyone here, there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's like, there's got to be over 100 Strength people in here. Can all go and be like, oh, my God, I'd love to hear hear you talk to Carla Marie. I don't know. Something. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm deleting this. Someone commented, you should see the face she makes when she's using it. Okay, that's aggressive. <laughs> Has that person seen the face you make? Uh, Jordan Puyallup, but does Anthony know how to use an iPhone? Oh. Uh, for the record, let me point something out. We have I a do. work iPhone. I do. We have an a, a iPhone that's downstairs for something, a project that we're doing for a friend. 256 viewers, Carla Marie. So if all of them right now, well, not right now, because then they would leave if they're on their phone, but either way. You can um, still play. If everyone at the end of today's show, which is coming up in a couple minutes, goes to Carla Marie's most recent post, and she is still typing out the message, can you tell everyone what you're typing? Ha ha, exclamation point. <laughs> Mentioned this on my show today, exclamation point. We would love, all caps, to have. All caps? We would love, in all caps, oh, to better. have you on the show. Not to talk about this. <laughs> or to talk about we'll, this. We'd love to have you on the show. Our whole audience. Audience? I don't like that word. Our whole audience is, ge- give me a better word, is geeking out. Oh, the audience is fine. You. Does that make sense? Uh, it, it sounds, I don't know. I don't like that message. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. I feel like Idle I'm talking ha- to a boy. Idle Hands is my favorite Devin Sawa movie. Also, he plays Stan in the Eminem music video. He's Stan? He is Stan. So when we are standing someone, we are Devin sawa someone. You are watching Casper before. I've watched Casper. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you and Christina Ricci had the same agent. We did have the same you agent. You could have been Casper. I don't think she was Devin Sawa's agent. Oh. But yes, the the woman who was my agent for a little bit, well, actually, my whole career, I didn't have a, a modeling or acting career, but the time that I was in modeling and acting, um, she, I think, was the agent of the Huxtables. The, she was Christina Ricci. Show. I want to say she may have even worked I with the Jonas Brothers. The Cosby show. No, that's, yeah. I don't think he was into me, though, so that's a good thing. Safe Every there. time I see Andrea Rosebud, I think of the Rosebud Motel, and I'm curious if that's what your name is about. Oh, yeah, that's right. If you're using the Twitch app on your phone, usually you can minimize it and use other apps. That's a good good point. Okay. Also, Nara said something earlier about, oh, she's met more Android users that know how to use an iPhone than iPhone users that know how to use an Android, which is because we're smarter. Okay. Can someone tell me what to say to this? I would say, oh, my God. <laughs> That's where I'm starting. Um, <laughs> OMG or no? I don't say. I always say, "Oh my god, oh my god." Dot. Period. Is the word. Uh, my friends and I reference your account all the time. Trust me. Oh, my friends and I sent. No, guys, got to help us out here in the, my, in the my comments. My friends and I re- reference Casper all the time. No, no reference your account Sa- all the time. But because Sam and I, I'm not going to say that. I'm okay. just for the chat. Tell okay. me, right. Sam and I will always say to people. Say to each other, can I keep you? Which is a line from Casper. Yeah, because he says it as he's a ghost, and then he comes in real life, and he dances with Christina Ricci, and he whispers it in her ear, and she's like, (gasps) and then he's floating. I really hope that if he does get on the show, that my agent wasn't lying, and she actually did discover Christina Ricci, because that'd be really weird. Well, you're not going to tell him that, because he's not going to give a fuck. Don't embarrass me. In front of, no. You're embarrassing yourself on this on this comment, on this thread. This is truly, this is like, I feel as if you're helping me talk to a boy. Okay, so Carla Marie. Martha said, we're talking about you on our Twitch show, and we'd love to have you on. We're all fangirling. Bam. Okay, done. And, and fanboying. We're all fanning. We're all standing. No, that's too much. Because he Father. was Stan? We are talking about. Oh, my God. In full transparency, we're standing. You're Stop. a giant in our eyes. <laughs> and I hope your final destination is our show tomorrow. Something about a ghost. No, the transparency part is the ghost. Oh. Some of them have to be subtle, you know? Yeah, that's too much. <laughs> oh, my God. We were talking about you on. He's going to come back and watch the show and be like, oh, God. <laughs> on my show today. We were talking about you on my show today. Come on. And yeah, thank you, Crazy Dream Girl. I think some people agree with me. 
Oh, oh Ricky's man. here. Hey, Ricky. Ricky, do you know who Devin Sawa is? Oh, yeah, we're talking about you on my show today, and we are all fangirling and fanboying. We need to have you. Oh. What, what, what? Oh, I got one. And Maybe, do you think we, Joey Fatone knows him? We'll say, and don't worry, after we're done with our Twitch show, we won't keep you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Wait, he's in Now and Then? I don't even know what Now and Then is. Is that a movie or a yeah. show? Christina Ricci said that you could have been in it. Oh, man. We're fangirling and fanboying. We need to have you on the show. Can we keep you? Please say yes. Oh, this is, I'm telling you right now, the people at Bush, the vibrator company, are going to be like, what in the actual app <laughs> is happening on this post? But everyone here has vibrator to remember. Vibrator cells are going to go up. They're going to make a, a one called the Casper. <laughs> the ghost? The final destination. <laughs> Um, everyone has to remember once you're done watching this stream to go and comment, and be like, Oh my God, we'd love to have you on. But then we have to figure out what we're going to talk to him about. The Chucky movie. Is he in it? Do we know? Did you, Oh my God. Did you send it? Yeah. I sent it. <laughs> oh God. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have had you send that. Who the heck is Devin Aoki? Yeah. I'm all about dad jokes today. All about him. What? Oh, why'd you whisper that? So when is the new Chucky movie coming out? It's a Chucky TV series. Okay. <clears throat> He's in it. I agree, Crazy Dream Girl. I think the dad jokes would have won him over. It would have shown that you're lighthearted, but you know his story as well, you know? I don't know what, what his role is, but he keeps posting about it. it you could have actually written, I don't worry, this won't be your final destination. We won't keep you. It's good. It's good. He was. He posted a video. Please don't like, ghost me. Okay. Oh, that would have been good. Well, that's what we have the people for. They can go comment. <laughs> don't ghost us. Wink. We're standing you. Wink. Yeah, I'm, I've been about dad jokes. Thank you, Texas don't Chris. Don't icebox us. You. Get it? Don't oh, put yeah. us in the icebox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So was he the quarterback that falls in love with icebox? Yeah. They kiss, I think. What a great character. God, I wanted to beat her so bad. Our fr I wonder... If our friend Jill from the Val show knows Devin Sawa because she, she was a cheerleader in the in background the of one of the scenes. I bet you Joey Fatone knows him. Why? Because like 90s. He was probably. <laughs> they just all know each other. He's probably at a show, you know, side on the side stage. Maybe. How? Joey Fatone's actually doing a, a show with our friends uh, Mac and Letty in Miami. They're doing something what? in the Fountain Blue that I think Mac and Letty are going to help promote or something. But it's like That's cool. Chris Kirkpatrick, a Ashley Get Parker, Angel, kicked. and Joey Fatone Worst and someone else. Limp biscuit bastard. Uh, what's Icebox? Icebox is the name of a character that was in Little Giants. It's the the girl who plays quarterback. Yeah. Um, which was like, you watch that movie as a girl, and you're like, "F yeah, I'm joining the football team. I'm quitting cheerleading." Devin Saw was ten years older than me, which means like I was. Eight and he was eighteen, and I was like losing my mind over him. Well, how old was he? When, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say, how old was he when he did Little Giants? <sighs> Little Giants came out, so he was born in nineteen seventy eight. No way. Little Giants came out. Casper was nineteen ninety five. Oh, Little Giants takes place in Ohio. That's right. So what's that math there? Seventy eight, eighty eight. He was seventeen when Casper came out. He was in Jarhead. Oh, Jarhead. Jarhead. Jarhead's a really good movie. Jarhead Law of Return. Okay. The Straight. first Jarhead was very good. I didn't see the second one. Or NCIS. Whatever. Everyone was saying. Okay. Well, now we're going through his Wikipedia. I know. I'm just trying to find. You're trying to find Little Giants right there? Little Giants came out in 1994. Wow. So he was 16. Okay. That makes sense. You've never seen any of these movies. Little Giants is worth it. Casper's a good movie. What else is on there, Carla? We're Rain? totes watching Casper this in for Halloween. We could do that. Final Destination. I've actually never seen. I know the the plot of Final Destination, but I've never actually seen it. Stop. I literally no. live my everyday life because of these, like how I live my life because of those movies. Like if I'm at an intersection and I see a truck coming with wood on it, tree trunks, I ain't going anywhere. Okay. I'll be that person <laughs> that waits. But aren't there a lot of like dentist scenes in Final Destination or is that? One. Or is that maybe a different? Because I remember there was one. The whole thing is like this. They all escape death. They're supposed because, to die on a roller coaster, right? Is it Devin? No. Okay. That's like the last. Please. 
How many Final Destinations? The first are there? one that he is in, they're all boarding a trip for school um, on an airplane, and I think it's him or someone else has like a flash of them all dying. You think it's actually happening, and then they wake up and they're like, "We gotta get off the plane. We gotta get off the plane." And a bunch of them are like, "No, no, no! What do you mean?" And they're like, "Get her! She's getting off the plane!" So they get off the plane with her, and the plane takes off without them, and it blows up. And everyone, all their classmates die. Okay. But then they start realizing that they cheated death and death is going to come for them no matter what. Uh, Jordy Matthew said there's at least six movies. Yeah. They get boring by the third one. I guess after six, if you're just finding unique ways to kill people. Yeah. The dentist it's like the one Halloween movies. has happened to me several times. Well, not actually happened to me. But at the dentist, they have like a little like mobile hanging. Mobile. Did you go to a preschool dentist? In the movie. Oh, okay. And they're like tied down oh, yeah. or whatever, and then it falls into their mouth and they can't breathe and they die. That's the scene that I saw. Yeah. But I have been to dentists that have things hanging above your head, so there's something to look at. Sometimes like little like pictures of um the gynecologist has this too. Pictures <laughs> of like beaches. I like when they have uh TVs up there. Throw on some ESPN, watch some sports center. Mm. It's my kind of dentist appointment. Okay, um, he has the vision of the plane crash. So I knew it. It is time to get out of here. Hopefully, everyone can go to Carla Marie's account, the Carla Marie on Instagram. Find her response to D. Sala, right? Is that the account? And everyone the latest comment. blow it up. He's going to unfollow you, most likely. You just lost your, your favorite follower. Block and report me. All right. So uh, go do that. We are out of here. Just General Ultra said mine has a TV. That's the dentist in Bellevue. That's awesome. Tell them I say they're fantastic. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. And if you are catching up late, <laughs> this will be on YouTube in about an hour. And yesterday's uh, Bake Along will be as well. Martha said, please don't ghost them already on the post. Love it. Thank you, Martha. You're a true hero. It's not true a hero. It's Instagram, at the Carla Marie. Wait, don't go anywhere yet. I'll drop the link. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> if Devin Sawa comes on the show, I am done. I'll leave. I'll leave. I can't. Can't be here anymore. Well, then I can't interview him by myself. I'll watch it. All right, there's the post. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Thank you to everyone who got who shot us through the hype train and got us to level five in like 40 seconds. Appreciate you very much. And like I said, if you missed part of the show, if you were here for some of the drama and some of the tea, you can go to YouTube. Check that out. It should be up. Usually takes about 60 to 90 minutes. Peace out.